Hey everyone, it's Starkiller Five Night here, and we are back with another reaction to The Mandalorian season two, episode two. Last time we had the premiere, and uh, yeah, the episode on Tatooine it was awesome. It's definitely the most western of all the episodes, and uh, a little tease of Boba Fett at the end there. And uh, yeah, there was a lot of stuff that I wanted to say that didn't make it to the reaction at the time. I'm pr I'm, I'm pretty sure that was Timothy Dalton, who was playing Cobb, was it? Um, I it looked like him, but I, I couldn't be so sure. But uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, so, uh, it was just another amazing, movie. and, uh, yeah, the crate Dragon, obviously, I didn't recognise it at first, just only saw the head, but, yeah, um, and the little pearl it has in it, yeah, so, um, yeah, so, uh, let's just get straight into the episode two of The Mandalorian, then, uh, but before we start, if there is anything, if the video footage is altered, then it's because there was copyright issues again. It was I was hit, hit massively for episode one last time. That's why it looked so altered. So um, and a lot of people had it go had it as well. So yeah. So just to let you know if anything looks different, then it's because of the stupid copyright flagging, which shouldn't have happened. But uh, yeah, because you know fair use and whatnot. So yeah. Anyways, let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight into this episode. Haha. <laughs> What's going on? Ambush? Oh my god! Oh, that was <laughs> great. Wow. Uh, what? He's gonna take Fett's armor, isn't he? Yep. <sighs> Come on, not the jetpack. We just got that. Oh. Come on, he just got the jetpack. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was awesome. <laughs> so who were they? I thought they were contractors, the passenger. Okay. Oh, are they like passengers or something? Or no, contractors? Like they were in season one, I don't know. Just scavengers, I don't know. Ah, uh, back in the cantina. Again. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> they play Sabaku. Alright. Simple taxi service, what could go wrong? Why is it, that, you better not like ECX or something, I don't know. Why is he doing, hmm. He's eating it. God damn it. God. Oh. X-Wing. Okay. <laughs> uh, they remember, I think they remember him from the heist. Yep. Heist, Dave Filoni. <laughs> Uh, well, it was a good thing that they just arrived. Is that the planet they were going for? Uh, so was that, that that was it? Was that thing that they said? Remember him from the prison heist? Oh, some great moves then. He doesn't crash. Cars didn't even lose him there. Do I recognise the other pilot? I can't remember from. I know that first one's Dave Filoni, I can't remember the other one. But these are some of the nicest pilots in the New Republic. <laughs> Alright. Well, we kind of made it. If this is the planet they were supposed to be on. Oh. Maybe not yet. Oh no, the X. Ah, oh, he's not eating more, is he? God <laughs> What? That droid is still... What? 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 Why is he still there? <sighs> nice. And you kept it for some reason. 
a clever way of them to speak, but why did he keep that killer droid? Couldn't even like sell it or anything? Or just, you know, toss it overboard. So that's why they also did the uh, flashback to that episode at the beginning. It wasn't just because of the X-Wing pilots re remembering him from the prison heist. It's because he kept the bloody droid as well. What? Oh. It's just, they're talking a lot more. I think he's trying to tell you something's over there. Oh no, he's going for the ace again. <laughs> he's he's going to go for him again. Where is that? Ew. That's gross. Uh, eggs. Okay, so... Where's the mother? Are those... Oh, no. Are those... Those... Spiders from Star Wars Rebels. Spiders which are impervious to blasters. Oh, my God, they are, aren't they? So I guess they're not just native to Atalon, then. Oh, my God, not those ones. Kill them before, they're, before they become blaster-proof. And a mother. Oh, wow. That's what they look like in live action. They're kind of... They're, they're a little bit different. Probably, yeah, different planet, of course. But they, they're very similar. At least similar to the spiders from Atalon. From Star Wars Rebels. Are they the same? I can't tell. Maybe it's just like a different breed. Because like I said, different planet. This is a colder planet. Damn. Alright. All right. Yeah, it's probably not going to do much against it. If they are the same... Oh, no, oh, it's dead. Never mind. Okay. I don't know what good going to the ship will do if there's... If the hole's been breached. To kill the big one. Kill the big one first. Oh, oh my god. Oh! <laughs> Get off! Oh. Cool buggers. God, this is so much like oh, it's so hor horrific here. Uh, hopefully that doesn't burn up the ship. No way to electrify the hole or something. That's what they did in Rebels. Electrify the hole, maybe. Okay. Oh. It's, uh, that one's still not dead, or is it another one? Jesus Christ. <sighs> X-Wing blasts! How'd they get down here? Aren't we in a cave or something? <sighs> they instantly cobwebbed up his ship as well. They, 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 they are known for uh, creating quick cobwebs. He's dead. However. What? <laughs> God damn him. <laughs> Alright, so still on our way to uh, Trask. Is it Trask, they said? Alright. Uh, those damn spiders. So is that what they look like in live action? Is it the same breed, or is it, or is, is it exactly the same ones? Or is it like a different breed or something? They look very detailed. They look quite... Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, it was a... Great episode. It was quite slow paced at the beginning, I felt like, for me. But, um... Yeah. It's nice to, uh... It kind of reminds me of, um... A lot like the start of the first season, actually. Of just how trying to transport something to another planet and just getting sidetracked, but uh, yeah, it also feels more continuous. Just like how this one 
because like I remember it being kind of like episodic, or at least towards the end of the first season, of you know different adventures and whatnot. So, but um, you know that was a nice little episode. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. So who were those people at the beginning? Were they just scavengers, or were they specifically sent to hunt the child, like the, in the season one? I, f- I, f- I was for sure that they were going to get Fett's armor there, so uh, but no, they didn't. So it's just I guess stowed away still on the Razor Crest. But uh, yeah, nice to see uh, Filoni's uh, the pilot pilot Filoni again. I didn't, uh, yeah. As he uh, recognised the ship from uh, the prison heist, so yeah, the whole ep- that whole episode came back around. It wasn't just because of the fact of the uh, droid. I don't know why he kept the droid on that ship. Guessing it is dead, but you know, in case it gets reactivated, like it almost did then, so uh, it just felt dangerous. Especially if it is going to try, if it tried to kill the child. So yeah, I don't know, didn't know why. It, uh, well, he kept the uh, droid, but I guess it paid off. So. Um, yeah, uh, anything else I need to think about? But I don't know what planet or whatever it was on, but yeah, quite a different contrast from Tatooine, going straight from a desert planet to a completely frozen wasteland, it looks like. So, uh, yeah, looks like those damn spiders are all about the galaxy, so... Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that was a nice little fun, neat episode. Uh, I don't think it was as... I don't think I enjoyed it as much as the first episode, but probably just because there was a lot more. It's like it's hard to say, I don't know how to say it, but uh, yeah, just you know, like with Boba Fett and his armor and whatnot, back to Tatooine. So, but I still like this episode. A nice, enjoyable one, though. So, uh, I guess in the next episode we'll finally go to uh, Trash Trashk. Is it Trask? Yeah, I think it might be that ocean planet actually that I've been seeing from the trailers it would make sense maybe we'll see we'll find out next week so uh, yeah thank you all so much for watching I'm sorry I could five and eight don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what you thought of the episode down below I thought it was a good one so yeah see you all for the next week for the next reaction bye bye